In geometry, the relationship of lines to each other has specific meaning and there are specific rules that are related to lines based on how they're related to each other. Two of the most basic sort of categories for relationship are parallel and skew lines. And that's what we're going to talk about in this lesson. First of all, parallel lines are lines that run side by side and run at exactly the same angle. So two lines that run in the same exact direction are parallel. And one sort of special description about parallel lines is that even though they're on the same plane, and remember a plane is, we can think of as kind of like a piece of paper, right? Uh, sort of a two-dimensional, has height and width but no depth. Uh, those two lines run side by side as if they were on the same piece of paper, but they will never touch. No matter how big you make that paper, if the two lines are truly parallel, they'll never touch. And we notate parallel lines by putting another little arrow right in the middle of the two lines to show that they're actually parallel with each other. Um, another way to notate parallel lines would be if you were using, say, letter notation. If we had, um, say, line AB and line CD, then we would note those two lines as parallel by putting these two vertical bars in between them. So this says that line AB is parallel to line CD. And you can do the same thing if you just are using kind of a lowercase letter to notate the line. So line A is parallel to line B. Yeah. Now, um, some other things about parallel lines. Uh, one, of the, one of the common rules with parallel lines is related to one that we just worked on not too long ago with algebra rules. And that was the one that said uh, if A is equal to B, and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. Remember that rule? So it, the same thing works with parallel lines. If line A is parallel to line B, and line B, oops, don't need that extra slash there, do we? And line B is parallel to line C, then line A is parallel to line C. So line A is parallel to line C. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, if you have a line, if you have a specific line, and you have a point, you can draw any line you want through that point. I mean, obviously a line could go in any direction through a single point. But there's a rule that specifies that if you have a line and a point, there will always be one and only one line that goes through that point and is parallel to that line. So if you have a line and a point, there will only be one other line that goes through that point and runs exactly parallel to the one you started with. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, skew lines. Let's clear this and start with talking about some skew lines. Skew lines are kind of the opposite to parallel lines. Skew lines are points that are on different planes and never touch each other. So if I have sort of a, a three-dimensional cube here, we connect our lines for this cube. So we think of a three-dimensional space. And within that three-dimensional space, we draw a couple of lines. Let me finish my cube. Sorry, it's almost done. There we go. Now within that three-dimensional space, we have a couple of lines. We have a line that runs from point A right here on this corner to point B over here on this corner. So this line, technically line segment, and there's another line segment, uh, say back over here from C to D. This one sort of runs up and down vertically. These two lines will never touch each other, but they're not parallel either. They don't run alongside of each other, but no matter how long they go, this one will continue off this way forever, and this one will continue off this way forever if we decided to draw it so but even, even if both of those lines did go off in their own directions forever, they'd never touch each other. So these are a description of skew lines. So skew lines never touch each other, but they're not parallel. And let's see, finally, oh, we have uh, transversals. Transversals. A transversal is a line that cuts across two other lines. So if I have um, two lines, say parallel lines, like so, the transversal would be the line that cuts through those two. So this line right here, line C, would be a transversal for A and B. And when you have a transversal, there's a bunch of rules we'll play with with those, but a lot of them deal with the inside 
and the well the interior the interior angles and the exterior angles the exterior angles are the angles that are on sort of the outside of that shape let me highlight those with a different color so if, if we think of this middle part in here between the lines is the inside of the shape the interior lines are the ones that are in the interior and the exterior lines are the ones that are in the exterior and that's about it let's go ahead and take a look at the examples